Hello, welcome to Zoologist Motion YouTube channel. Today we shall discuss phylum Nidaria or Coelenterata with its basic features and introduction and the most important stinging organs, the Nidai or Nematocyst. We shall discuss the complete structure and function today with the help of an animated diagram to understand in depth or practically watch till end to have the full insight. Why these phylum are called as Nidarians or Coelenterates? Nidaria mean Nidai. The word Nidaria has been derived from Nidai. Nidai are basically stinging threads or stinging organs, which are the basic recognition of this phylum. And the Coelenterates, previously it was called Coelenterate because of a hollow gut, a cavity called Coelenteron present in the members of this group or phylum. Now there are two distinct features which are only and only present in these phylum. The number one is planula larva and nidai or nematocyst. Now if you remember the planula name anywhere else, you must focus that it is talking about nidarians or cylindrate. Similarly, if you read the word nidai or nematocyst anywhere, you must focus, you must concentrate that this is about cylindrates or nidarians because these two features are only uh, the salient or unique to cylindrates or nidarians. Now let's have a look at the general features. There are almost 11,000 species. Out of 11,000, 99.8% are marine while only 0.2% are freshwater including hydra. There are two basic body forms in the sealant rates. One is mobile or moving form the medusa and the stationary form polyp. Due to these two forms they show polymorphism. They are radially symmetrical and they have two basic layers only ectoderm and endoderm and there is no mesoderm at all but in between ectoderm and endoderm there is a non-living jelly-like layer called mesoglia and mesoglia may contain living cells derived from other layers but itself it is non-living now let's talk about the most asked and most uh, important topic nidai nematocyst the stinging organs nidai are organelles remember this word organelle secreted within the cells called uh, nidoblast nidai are basically discharged with sudden jerk to attack and they are present in tentacles and within gut cavity all around there are three major types of nidai and the among three the type major types most important or most common is the nematocyst these nidai are most complex non intracellular secretions and that is only present in these cells nothing other cells contain such secretions each nidai can be used only once and the speed of release is around 3 millisecond. Just imagine, too fast. Now let's have a look at the structure of nidai. Each nidoblast has one nidai, that is nidoblast, the rectangular outer covering, and inside there is a nidocell or a string, coiled or spiral shaped string. Each nidai is consisted of capsule and opening the operculum and sting with spine all around that is the basic structure of a nidai or nido blast now what happens when there is a stimulus either chemical or mechanical outside the sting is released suddenly within three milliseconds which penetrate prey and release toxins here is the prey and that is the mechanism to attack to prey. These toxins paralyze the prey before ingestion or keep it away in case of defense. So both act as both organ of offense as well as defense. Now, exact mechanism of release of these nidai is not known yet. You can do research on that. But there are two famous hypotheses. First hypothesis suggests 
that osmotic pressure is acquired suddenly to push them out. Secondly, second hypothesis suggests that osmotic pressure is already built in and is restricted due to upper coulomb which is closed. But as soon as upper coulomb opens, when there is stimulus, nidi are released immediately and they are penetrated into the host to release toxins. The part of body which is near the stimulus only activate and release nidi outside. Other parts which are not directly in contact with the prey are not activated. Only the part activated which is near or is stimulated. Once outside they cannot retrieve back and the nidoblast will produce new one for next attempt. In this way these are organs of offense as well as defense. Remember that tentacles are organs while nidi are organelles. And that is it for today. Hope you have learned something. The next lecture will be cylindrate classification. Connect with us. Keep watching and learn. Thank you.